Hebrews chapter 12 verses 1 and 2. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and sin which clings so closely, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Look into Jesus, the founder and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. Let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. One author defines endurance as the spirit which can bear things not simply with resignation, but with blazing hope. You see, endurance is not just bearing up under. It is not going through complaining and murmuring and griping. Endurance is sticking with it, patiently sticking with it, but with a hopeful disposition. I'm going through, but I'm going through hopeful. I am expecting success. I am expecting better. I'm expecting great things. I have to bear up under this pressure. I have to be patient through these testings, but I'm doing it with great expectation. In the midst of this patience, there is the joy of expectation. But the writer says, if we are going to run this race with endurance, we're going to have to ensure that we get rid of the weight. Now notice the race we're running, we're not instructed to run it with speed, but rather with endurance, with patience. Sometimes it might be slow going because this race is not a sprint, it's a marathon. And because it's a marathon, we have to be ready for the long haul. We've got to be ready for the distance. We are called to be long distance runners. And to make it, we've got to get rid of the weight. Weights, are for training, not for racing. So to make it through, to make it to the end of this race, we've got to lose the weights. The weights of the memories of past mistakes and past failures that weigh us down and keep us from becoming what we ought to become and from being what we ought to be and from pressing forward the way we ought to press forward. The weight of past hurt and trauma. Yes, we have been through much, but if we remain in a place where that takes up the forefront of our mind, we'll not be able to endure to the end. The weight will be too much. But also the weight of past successes. Sometimes we get stuck on the good old days, so stuck on the good old days that we are unable to move forward. So stuck on our past successes, trying so hard to repeat the past successes that we are being absolutely ineffective 
in our present time. Let us lay aside the weight so that we can run with endurance the race that is set before us. God bless you. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And for more, join us at 9 a.m. at 10 Union Square, Crossroads, Kingston, Jamaica. If you can't be there in person, join us virtually via YouTube Live.